We are live. Ah. Ah. <laughs> it is the SMT podcast. It's your boy, the SMT. I'm here with Carlos. We are hanging with you guys tonight. If you're watching this in the live, today is February 21st, 2020. We actually just went live last night, but you know, it's tradition to go on Fridays. I'm not breaking tradition, bro. Unless, unless it's for like my brother's wedding or something like that. Maybe. And like, and like they say again, bro. Live. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Carlos, is that good? Like that, that little intro thing that I do. Yeah, it works, bro. Ah, get all throaty up on the mic. Ah. Go live. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, today is the 21st of February, 2020. It is good to have you guys here. If you're watching this on the live, thank you for being here. If you're watching this on replay, big shout out to the replay crew. Either way, it is a pleasure to have you. We're glad you could be here to tune in and listen in. And, uh, basically just what, like listen to me and Carlos talk smack back and forth for like an hour. <clears throat> um, <laughs> we actually, we'll probably have a pretty productive conversation today we got 55 in the need live watch bad feedback bro if you could please let like the video and it's to you're normal now we're good. You were feedbacking for a bit. Okay. Yeah, well, you were like your audio was. Are we okay though? Yeah, you're okay now. Okay, maybe there was a little interference. I had had this other smartphone over here. It's possible. Anyways, we got Bob in the house. If he's still here, Gavin as well. Good to have you guys, Stacy. Pleasure to have you, Flyboy Rex. Haven't seen you in a while, man. Good to see you here. Glad you could stop by heading off to work. All right, awesome. Uh, catch us on the replay then, RFK. What's up, Pete? Looks like Pete's moderating. We got Rafi moderating. Good to have you guys, both of y'alls. Tito from Aloha Android representing. Yep, the big homie. Marco is here. What's happening, bruh? Yeah, Tito's in the house. All right, well, we ready. Ready to do this thing, man. Xena is here. Xfinity Mobile has picked up advertising. Well, they had a great quarter, right? Yeah. I mean, in, in terms of MVNOs, I think they did the best. What's going on, Jihad? All right, sweet, man. Good to have you. All right. Going to share the stream. All right, sweet, man. Alexis says, loved the 5G charts yesterday. Yeah, The did you see any of those charts? Close, where they showed like the five G availabilities, connections, uh, and speeds. Yeah, it's good stuff, bro. It's good to know who's got the five G available, and then to kind of see how the five G connections are. I think it's a painful reminder of the the green nature of the technology. Hey, thanks, Michael. Appreciate you, man. Kais, what up, man? For the Friday stream. Timothy, good to have you, sir. Shares, awesome. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, if you guys are just getting in, do share it. That would help out the channel quite a bit. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, Raph. Uh, Rockstar's in the house. What up? Oh, my God, it jumped again. It's so annoying, man. Ricky ain't lying. What's up, Gene? Robert? Adrian? What's up, KMLE? Sean, what up? Didn't Carlos pay his electric bill? <laughs> Who are we talking about? <laughs> uh, yeah, I got a new spot in the room. What is he talking about, man? What's up, Roy? Nathan? William with the crazy head? Maximus? Eric? The brother Jose? Martin is here. Big shout out to Martin. Just laid on a pretty generous donation thank you for that we'll get to the shout outs in a second too dark 
over on Carlos's side. Yeah, Carlos, you are pretty dark. I mean, it looks like you're in a car, right? You got like the back glass going on. Yeah. Marco, hola. Yeah. Yeah, we'll talk about it today. Audio is iffy. Hopefully that's fixed up. Sound is fading. Choppy feed. Yeah, hopefully it's worked out. I hope it's holding steady. What's up, Lil Easy? Aaron? Full robot. <laughs> All right. Breaking. Got to hit those brakes. All right. We're good now? Whoa. Sweet. What's up, Rain yeah, and Woman? How are you? Out. Rain and Woman's in the house. You need your audio's out. No audio. No audio. Uh, can anybody hear Sneed? Am I st still? No audio? What the heck? What's going on with my audio? Oh, good. They say they can hear me. I don't know. I don't hear him any audio at all on my end. I don't know. Los, I don't know, man. They're saying they hear us both. Bro, this is crazy. What the I'm just heck? Gonna, Carlos, I'm just going to dance, bro. Since you can't hear me. Oh, I don't hear no audio at all. Oh. Carlos is choppy. Carlos, reset, Carlos. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to kick him out. He's going to hate me for it, but I'm going to kick him out. There you go. He'll just have him redo it. All right. Well, anyways, <sighs> audio is good. I can hear both of you. Okay. Audio is good. Okay. Snap, snap. I know. <laughs> TVs I'm streaming at work. Sweet. I don't know what happened. I don't know. It might be the headphones on his side. All right. Uh, I hear StreamYard has been... Oh, that's not good. Because uh, I know for a fact Carlos is going Bluetooth right now. So, I don't know. I do everything wires. I, I don't do Bluetooth. I, it's not dependable enough. Anyway, since he's not here... Catch you live in a while. It's good to have you back, David. Welcome back. Yes, indeed, Michael. Yes, indeed. Anyways, let me do the uh, let me do the intros here. All right. So, some things that are going on with the SMT YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more involved with the communities, we have the SMT Patreon page. Actually, right now, I think we're at about forty people. We recently added about a handful of people to the community. So, I do want to give some shout outs to the recent additions. All right, so those would be Santiago, brand new, just became a patron, so we want to welcome him. Uh, Levin and Jean, I believe they added yesterday, so we want to welcome them to the community. Joseph, Eric, and uh, I, I want to say it was James and Alvin were the most recent additions last week. And then uh, Romy, Hadeka, Gregory, Lee County and Kais all added earlier in February. So we're glad to have you guys. We're glad to see that you are now part of the community. I'm I'm laggy. I I don't even know where Carlos went. I don't know what's going on with this thing. <laughs> Let's see if we could figure it out. Maybe we'll try a different connection. Maybe, maybe that'll possibly help. All right. Let's see. Actually, why don't you guys let me know in the live chat? Let me know how I'm feeding. Fine. Yeah, Gary, check your T-Mobile connection. <laughs> Low-hanging fruit, man. Sorry. Wherever you are. See, that's what that's what really bothers me. Like, everybody wants to go and blame me for everything. And then, like, everybody says, oh, you're fine. You're good. And the person is like, oh, you're choppy. Check your connection. Check your YouTube. Check whatever, you know. Stop blaming me for stuff. Looking and sounding good. Sweet. Good to good to know. Thank you guys for the... Yeah, Gary got that raccoon. <laughs> yeah, me too, Mark. I'm very excited for it. All right. <laughs> Carlos didn't pay his internet bill. 
Uh, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happened. Anyways, so those are the newest members of the Patreon page. Also, we just got some recent donations. I want to give a big uh, special shout out to Martin. Thank you for your big, generous donation. We appreciate that very, very much. The PayPal donation. Also, uh, I believe uh, Gary added a recent donation, as did Rafi. So we want to thank you guys for that. Uh, James, Alvin, and Matt Dub for your recent donations. And Michael with a recent donation as well. I think he just donated, actually. So, guys, thank you so much for those PayPal donations. And you guys know that's that's a it's a great cause, you know it's it really does help tremendously. Um, <laughs> you guys are clowning about the internet bills. <laughs> All right, good to know. All right, so, anyways, for tonight's stream, as we kind of wrap up this community thing with, I just wanted to shout out the other YouTube channel. Uh, so what happens is when these live streams wrap up, finish, and they DVR, and they get archived, we move them over to the second channel. So that description box, you know, that you guys have down there, it's got all the links, the Patreon, the Twitter handle, the SMT wireless report, audio only podcast, the second channel, it's all there. And of course, megadon.net, I never need another social media platform ever again. No algorithms, no ads and no tracking megadon.net, uh, friend and, uh, contributors to the SMT YouTube channel. And if you could please like this on your way in, and share this to your favorite social medias. That would be awesome. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. That really does help the channel tremendously. So thank you in advance for that. Looks like another super chat or a couple. Ooh, yeah, I definitely missed one here from mi hermano Jose. Bro, thank you so much for the contributions and the kind donations. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I hear you in Texas. <laughs> Thanks so much, Jose. Appreciate you, man. Always looking out for your boy. Thanks, bro. And uh, Jar Cohen with the super chat. Thank you. Hey, what's up? Try to change the ad. Uh, I don't know. What do you mean? Please elaborate. What's up, Nemkazi? What's happening? You're back, bro. Where you been? Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Yeah, Flyboy Rex, where you been, bro? Appreciate it, Raph. Yeah, Gary, there's going to be a couple of appeals. <laughs> Ain't no appeals, bro. Uh, all, all, all hands on deck for the merger. All right. So anyways, the goal today was to talk about... What's up, Tyler? Good to have you on. The goal today was to talk about what T-Mobile and Sprint were going to be doing as a combined company over the course of the next couple of months. The merger closes April 1st. That puts it at what? Like five or six weeks, right? So... Over the course of the next five or six weeks, it's really, you know, um, the ad is the ticket ad always on your videos about fighting your traffic ticket. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, anyways, um, the goal over the next couple of months is going to be to focus on transitioning customers from the Sprint side over to the T-Mobile side. A seamless transition in which business operations continue as planned and there's no hiccups and no issues. Easier said than done. It's going to be a difficult task. A lot of hands on deck. A lot of people will be putting a lot of time and effort into making this happen. We've got device compatibility, uh, things that need to be assessed. You know, are they going to do this with new SIM cards? Are they going to do this with, you know, um, with eSIMs when applicable with newer phones like iPhones and Google phones and stuff like that? I think another thing to consider is going to be network integration. That's going to be huge over the course of the next couple of months. Even as they kind of like transition towards 2020, towards quarter three and four, that's really going to be the focus. How do we get 2.5 band 41 completely integrated and, of course, rolled out? So even as C band is wrapping up in terms of the CBRS spectrum and then band 43, as those auctions take place, you know, T Mobile and Sprint, as the new T Mobile, are going to be full speed ahead with 2.5 deployment. But the investment has to be there. There's going to be a lot going on at the company. Who knows what that's going to look like? But, I mean, we're going to be watching it, right? And I'm going to have tons of coverage on it. So that's going to be an important piece of it. And I think another thing to mention is DISH. What is DISH going to do? You know, what are their plans moving forward? Uh, you know, they obviously are going to have an MVNO deal to operate on T-Mobile. But what are they doing for their own native network? So they're going to be going heavily 
emphasizing standalone 5G, all of that can start pretty much now. So all of their tower sites that they're going to make as their own, all of the sites that are going to be taken down as redundant sites from the T-Mobile and Sprint side. <laughs> Thanks, man. Michael, thank you, bro. Wow, that's that's such such a nice thing to say. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you. So yeah, I I'm I'm really I'm really excited for the start. See, that's the thing. You think about the way that the carriers have been for the last decade, there hasn't really been much change. Like like T-Mobile's come into the game and they've they've shaken things up and they've stirred things up, but we really haven't had much happen. Uh we see you know, less and less of an impact from the sprint side. Now we're going to see Dish kind of being the new player and what they're going to offer in standalone 5G and what they're going to do as an MVNO and what they're going to do as prepaid with Boost. There's so many different things that could happen. So I'm super, super excited about all this. Does Sprint own the 2.5 Spectrum or do they lease the EBS? No, they own it. They definitely do. Uh, I always thought that if the merger wasn't going to happen for them, you know, do they do they lease Spectrum to other companies? You know, like I really felt like Verizon was in such dire straits. Like I felt like Sprint could have leased them midband. Like seriously, it would have made total sense as a business opportunity. You know, there's a lot there's a lot that could be speculated, Gene, about what happens with Boost. I think for starters, there definitely are going to be some customers that are going to be kind of pushed away from boost uh, that dish just doesn't want to retain customers that aren't paying. I think Peter Adderton on Twitter has done a good job of highlighting that very well. Uh, you know, they're going to be focusing on postpaid and, and if, if we can call it premium prepaid, you know, I don't, I don't think they're going to be into serving customers that have a hard time paying their bills. They're really going to be trying to shed those customers. So I don't know what they do there, but I do think they'll offer a compelling um, set of plans. You know, um, they're obviously in it to make money. They've got a good deal, so I think they could do both. Dish needs to deploy a lot of towers, spend a lot of money to even come close to T-Mobile. Learning. Well, they can focus on 5G. That's one thing that a lot of the other carriers can't say. They have to continue to build out LTE, and they have to focus on 5G. You know, look at AT and T. They're still deploying band fourteen. Look at Verizon. They're trying to bolster and plug up congestion issues on their network and densifying. Uh, look at what T Mobile's been doing, catching up in low band. No carrier has the perfect scenario. I think if anything, Dish can solely focus on building out their network and operating the MVNO on the LTE side. They don't have anything to worry about but standalone five G. So in a way, they kind of have an advantage. In my in my view, I think so. Merger a go. It was a green light. I'm worried about the work as a sprint. You know what, David? I hope that a lot of those people can be retained. If not, you know, um, if not get the same positions, get a similar position. If not make as much money, make close to the same amount of money. I'm hoping for those people that that would happen. Do you think Dish will acquire Sprint's band five? Uh, the band five no i don't i don't think they will i think the only thing adam that dish is getting from the sprint side is band 26 so i'm not sure about the concentration i know it's like five or ten megahertz it's one of those of uh 850 so i don't know i don't know about band five yeah gary i i hate t-mobile they are the worst <laughs> you're a funny guy man this is gonna lease 600 megahertz to t-mobile tinker Ooh. You know what's funny, Isaac? T-Mobile has a lot of 600 megahertz that they just haven't rolled out. Why would they lease it to them? They have their own, you know? Hesse was going to lease the Spectrum before it got canned. <sighs> it could have worked, man. Two-phone general, it could have worked. You know? It definitely could have worked. Business as usual with Boost. Does Dish officially own Boost? Yeah, they do. Right away. Is t we're going to use some 2.5 on LT? From what I understand, no. They're going straight to 5G with it. it. They may do like DSS with it, of course, which allows it to be shared over LT and 5G. But from what I understand, it's going to be dedicated 5G. Whatever pre-existing 2.5, maybe they keep that. But from what I understand, they want to upgrade everything 5G. 
Got my S10 Plus for 450. Good price. The government can easily rescue all the rescue companies like the risk. Yeah, but James, it's not sustainable, man. You're gonna sit there and deal with all that debt. It's it's kind of pointless. What's gonna become of Sprint's legacy CDMA? It's all gonna be shut down. Everything migrated to LTE and 5G. You would think Dish could keep the redundant towers, T-Mobile decommissions, and Sprint's network. I think that's the way it's going to play out, actually. I think that's how it's going to be. Redundancy offered to Dish. If Dish doesn't want it, they're not obligated to purchase. But yes, that's that's how it'll play out. What's next? AT&T versus Verizon. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, it's not even legitimate. Band Twin. Oh. I didn't know that about that. I didn't know Band 26 was a superset of Band 5. Good to know. Thank you. Sprint's business practices were terrible. Some of those employees are going to get laid off for sure. Inevitable. So many MVNOs popping up on their own, and everyone is focused on this merger. I mean, it affects the MVNOs, doesn't it, James? Sprint is better than T-Mobile? Uh, no, because one... One is trending up and shares are over $80 and Sprint shares were under $5. So I would say, no, Sprint's not better than T-Mobile. That's a valuation side. Uh, T-Mobile has shown growth. Sprint has lost market share. So take what you want from it. Will Dish get banned, access to Band 41? Yes, they will have Band 41 access. T-Mobile sucks when it comes to caring about their little customers. That's the first time I've ever heard that, David. I'm sure a lot of people would argue that. Will Sprint users be able to use the T-Mobile network? I would guess as soon as network integration happens after April. So I don't know if that's May. I don't know if that's June. I don't know if it's July. But I would say by the summer for sure. Everybody knows are going to use redundant towers regardless of the merger. They only have 20 megahertz of 600 band in some parts of the U.S., so Dish can lease. Oh, okay. Got you, Isaac. Wow. Okay, so you're basically saying 20 megahertz of 600 megahertz is not enough. I mean, shouldn't the focus be mid-band at this point? Is it really necessary to go above native 20 megahertz? I mean, what, like another 20, make it 40? I don't know. Aiden, what up? Gregory, what up? Can all agree that T-Mobile will mess up the dish agreements? <laughs> I don't think so. They got to hold true to it. Gary's in PR. He has Sprint, and I run on Band 66. Since two days ago? So that sounds... Well, Who who's native 66 is that? A friend has AT&T, and iPhone 11 is device shows 5G. What's it mean? 5G is just advanced LTE. That's all. T-Mobile has been the best company I've done business with. No arguments here. They they do some really good things. Yeah. William should have their own networks with all the money they're getting from the overpriced tech. Not as much money as you think, man. Some of the OEMs are struggling right now. Outside of Samsung and Apple, I mean, who's doing big numbers? 5G, not NR. <laughs> exactly. I got fed up with T-Mobile Sprint Skunk 5G games, so I switched to consumer cellular. Oh, crap. Okay. How's the service, Michael? wonder what that's like. Was it an auction announced? Yes. We got a couple auctions this year. You got a band 43 C-band at the end of the year, and then you've got the up-and-coming CBRS band auction. So T-Mobile doesn't care about their loyal customers. Is that true? I haven't heard that before. Probably sometime in the summer, Gary. Just pour it out to Sprint, and this happens, but I got a better deal with Sprint now. <laughs> they do give out some good pricing. More MVNOs means m conjugated networks. I don't know what you mean by conjugated. I don't know if you mean congested, maybe. If it's congested, I mean point taken, obviously, but if they're on peace pay, postpaid, they'd have a higher priority. Trailville, honestly, where I live, T-Mobile's coverage is sketchy, but everywhere else in the CLE, they're really good. So I guess, you know, market-to-market -market basis. 
Uh, Giovanni says, do you believe T-Mobile can surpass at and It's going to be hard to do. It's going to be really hard to pass at and and Verizon. But with the right network experience for customers, and if they do the TV thing right and the home internet, you know, if you count all the subscribers, maybe they do. I mean, it's not going to be hard to do internet better than at and Their pricing, you know, their, their value, it's just not there. Uh, I think it was 3.5 YC, the CBRS band. Integration of T-Mobile and Sprint's corporate structure and customer base will take two to three years. Wow. You think that long, Daniel, huh? Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Oh, no kidding, Pete. PR is native T-Mobile 66. I had no idea. James says, will Sprint customers go through a mess to connect with T-Mobile systems? I don't know. It's uh, kind of a wait and see thing, you know. I agree, James. I think LG is a great smartphone manufacturer. They just don't market well, you know. That's on them, bro. All right, Gary. Good to know. The LG V40, man, that thing's got to be almost two years old now because the LG V50 was from last year. We got the V60 coming out this month. I don't know, dude. He just straight up disappeared, Tito. I have no idea what happened. <laughs> No idea. Uh, I didn't get a message from him or anything, I don't think. Nope, nothing. So Carlos is gone. <laughs> Maybe he's listening in or watching. I don't know. Every time I call T-Mobile, it's worse than having to <laughs> skunks. <laughs> Sprint could have been a true competitor, but the WiMAX mistake with Clearwire ruined them. Yeah, I mean, that was a pretty bad misstep. Instead of going all in with LT, they tried with WiMAX and it failed. I mean, we could also throw a Nextel in there too. I agree with you, though, on the clear wire situation. And then, you know, the WiMAX thing for sure. Yeah, James, it's a uh, good value over there. Service is wonderful. Customer cares. A plus great. All right, good to know, man. Consumer Cellular. Big shout out to Consumer Cellular. Oh, well, that's done and over with. I mean, that'll be done in about, what, a few weeks. They'll probably start phasing out the commercials. What deals the team will have if I switch over to them phones? I know they're doing an iPhone 11 on us, like like a buy one, get one type deal. You just got to add a line. So that might be something to consider. T-Mobile has surpassed AT&T and postpaid customers. Oh, does that mean with the merger? Okay, I don't know. That that might be true, Robert. I don't know. The numbers I, I get are all over the place, so I don't know who to trust and what's accurate. The problem with Band 71, 700 is that they're only using 5x5, five five, so yes, you get a signal, but it's always congested. Facts. 600 being 30 by 30, 40 by 40 open. Yeah, and because it still has that great reach, it's going to help a lot more people. I totally agree with you, Isaac. Uh, that definitely needs to happen. That. The full portfolio of 600 needs to be deployed. You can't sit around and mess around with this 10 and 15 and 20 megahertz. You, you got to get it all rolled out for sure. And the way that they're splitting it up with NR just makes it even worse. After April, right away, Boost customers have access to T-Mobile. I mean, that's how the MVNO deal is structured. So, yeah, Trail Boy, that's the way it should be. Carriers offer garbage phones for free when they should be bringing in customers with better tech. I agree, James. Uh, but that's what you're getting with prepaid carriers. Postpaid carriers, it's they got tons of deals on flagships. Sprint employee here in the house, John. Good to have you, man. Fabulous guru. What's up, Reed Dub? I'm with AT&T wondering if I'm switching to T-Mobile for the lower price or Verizon for the better coverage. My bill is already really high, and I only have a few issues. I don't know. It depends. Like, what's your, like, what in terms of pricing? What's too much? You know, if if Verizon is affordable and you can do it, it's it is by far the best carrier to have. If especially if you're a traveler, it's really hard to argue their network performance. It really is. Uh, we'll see how that ends up. What's up, Mav? What up, Los? Yo. Yeah, Kyle, dude. Los said you're back. Bro. What? That's some garbini, bro. What happened, bro? You look good now. No, no, no. All these phones, bro, are messing up. So guess what happened to them, bro? 
Each phone that started that started making me mad ended up in the ground broken, bro. I took out four phones right now, bro, just because they're they're making me so mad, bro, because they weren't connecting. You look good now, bro. Are you on your LG? No, I'm on uh, what is this? The iPhone. The last the S10 5G. Oh, okay. Yeah, bro. I just got done taking out four phones, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Was, yeah, that's all Maddie got me, bro. Yo, uh, this is stupid. We're, we're gonna start a new fund. We're gonna get Carlos some anger management, bro. He's been tripping the last couple of days, bro. Like it's tr it's crazy, bro. Like I don't know why it wasn't working, bro. Gene thought had... maybe you forgot to pay your bills, bro. Heck no. <laughs> What's up, Ibis? Ibis, bro. Like. It's stupid because I try to connect and then it wouldn't connect. It's just, I don't know. It was crazy, bro. It was just wild. So, yeah. Hey, Aiden, the upcoming CBRS band is, it'll help a little bit with some speed, you know, where there's congested areas. But like Ricky likes to call it Wi Fi band. And I can't blame him for that. It's, it's going to be small cells that are kind of situationally added in, in certain situations. Cause like, Say at the airport, say at train stations. I could see that having application, uh, maybe stadiums and arenas, but that's probably it. It's never going to be attached to a macro site, so you know the transmission of it's going to be very limited. But it's going to help in places where they need it. Exactly. Nextel merger thirty billion write down. <laughs> Twenty six point two billion, right? Yep. Sprint's infrastructure is based on the railroad system. It's true, bro. That's their history. It's true. <laughs> it is true. So Michael switched to consumer cellular. He loves it, bro. He says the network's roaming on AT&T, and he said the customer care is fantastic. No sound, Carlos. Nothing, bro. No sound. Hello? Yeah, sound. Okay. Yeah, bro. This is right. this is crazy, bro. Oh. God, let me have some patience. Now what was what was going on? The that's, that's right, Zena. Carlos is back, but I, I don't know for how long because Right now, he's doing some crazy ghost face thing in the light. I don't know what he's doing right now. <laughs> no, what? Is it tripping? No, you're good. You're you're solid right now. I don't know. Nope, he's gone. All right. Well, I don't think he's doing it on purpose. Bro, these phones, bro. What the heck, bro? <laughs> Where's your iPhone? Um... No, you did not throw one, that one too. One's busted. One is, I'm trying not to bust it. So that's why I'm not trying to use it because if Carlos, it fails, I will bust it. I need you to breathe, bro. I need you to breathe. That, that's, why I, that's why I'm not using it, bro. That's my main driver because if not, I'll bust it too. That's why I'm not trying to touch it. Maverick <laughs> said just throw them at him, bro. He could use them. Well, they're no good. I'll tell you that much. Everybody I, I wants them. They they want you to throw them at them. Well, they sna they're snapped in half and thrown. Yeah, Tech 702 might be live, but this is my time, bro. I've been doing this for years. So no disrespect to him. I support him very much. He's a friend of the channel. But he this probably is didn't know. Time, baby. <laughs> he probably didn't know. I'm sure, bro. I don't I'm not, I'm not mad at him or anything. But yeah, a lot of people are saying that band seventy, uh, band forty eight, the CBRS is not going to work, bro. It's going to work. It's going to help a lot. It will, bro. There's going to be some situations where it's needed. Exactly, like, and that's what you mean people to tell don't me. Understand. It's not going to help at the T-Mobile Arena. <laughs> Heck yeah, bro. Well, I mean, all they do is, they, well, I mean, it depends, bro, if they keep it on, because it seems like every time there's a there's a Golden Knights game, they turn it on, and then the speeds are decent. And then right when the game is over and the crowd's gone, they shut it off, bro. <laughs> power off. Save power. 
Yeah, the the C band offers a lot of capacity, especially band forty three. But we won't see band forty three till like mid twenty twenty one. That's what kind of sucks. And that's just only a small chunk of it, bro. Like they said, they said that it's gonna take two years to clear it up. Band forty three. The C, the yeah, the C band. They said it's about a couple of years to clear all the licenses. Oh, from satellite. Yeah, that's probably true, bro. Yeah, so they're gonna they 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 said that it's somewhere rural Midwest. I can't remember where, but they'll be able to do mid twenty twenty one. But then every you almost everywhere else, it's gonna be like twenty twenty two and up. So yeah, that why you think. Why you think Verizon's sitting here and densifying the network right now, and they're blasting it as much as they can? Because they know true. that they're either way they're going to have to wait. I still think, like, um, in terms of the network investment, like, you know, dumping in eighteen billion this year, they're probably going to be doing twenty plus the following year. Yeah, they they're going to have to densify the network, bro, more, and get it ready for like DSS and all that stuff. How's my sound right now? Is this okay? It's good, bro. It's good. All right. Okay. I just want to be a little relaxed. That's all. So, like, I kind of rearranged my desk. So the desk is out from facing the corner. Now it's facing the room. So I can see the doorway. And I was able to, like, adjust my lighting. So I I think I, I made it a lot better and more functional for me. And actually, when I do my videos... Not just my live streams. When I do my videos, I should be able to get better camera angles and a better sound setup and everything. So, so yeah. Yeah. Man, I'm trying not to drink energy drinks anymore, but it's tough, bro. Dude, it's too tough, bro. I know. If, it's, if that's what you're used to giving you energy, bro, like it's going to be rough, bro. <laughs> I, did it, I, I did it before, bro. I gave up. It got the best of me. It won. Really? Yeah, bro. It really did win, bro. But I cut it down, though. Like, there, there's, I mean, there's nothing wrong with, like, let's say if you have to do it once a day, bro, okay. But if you're sitting here chugging those things, bro, like, three, four, five times a day, there's something wrong, bro, because that's too oh, much. No. Your kidneys are going to be done. Yeah, bro. I, I had a, I, I had a friend, bro, that that he would chug Red Bulls like daily, bro. He chugged like the big twenty four ounce cans, and he would chug like at least four to six a day, bro. And he was always getting kidney stones and all this like crazy, man. You know what's crazy about Verizon with DSS? What it they can have all the DSS in the world, and it doesn't matter if they don't have Spectrum. You yeah. know what I'm saying, like. Like, so Dynamic Spectrum is basically 5G LT, 5G LT, on demand as customers need it. But if you only exactly. have, imagine it's like a rubber band, a little getting pulled this way and then a little bit getting pulled this way. Like, eventually, it's not going to make a difference whether you're on 5G or LTE if you don't have Spectrum. Look, this is a, this is a new tower that... <sighs> Carlos, I don't know what's going on, bro. He's about to break another phone. Bro, like, it won't even let me. It doesn't let you flip the camera on Android. Are you serious? This thing's about to end up against the wall, bro. Well, that's what I was saying. Why did you switch over to the iPhone? Because I'm afraid it don't work. If the audio don't work, I'm going to chug it, bro. And that's a Pro Max, bro. I don't feel like busting my Pro Max. <laughs> Not yet. But here, this is this is one that they just redid right here. Ooh. It's loaded, bro. This damn thing is loaded out the mine. I don't know. I can't see, bro. So can you see it? Because I'm just facing the front camera. To bro, the that top. thing you have. Verizon looks, is loaded. Yeah, it looks like four or five sets of antennas. Yeah, it's Verizon and it's uh. Verizon and AT and T on here, band thirty. Good Those to are have band you. thirty. Welcome to the channel, man. And then you, the top, you got Verizon. They got it rows of four each way, bro. They got it blasted. 
bro. It's that's what I'm saying. They're blasting the towers everywhere right now, bro. Like big time, putting new antennas and just blasting it up. There's there's a lot. That thing's loaded, man. Yeah. You ran a, did you run a speed test on that connected to the different networks? Yeah. Oh, let's see. Okay. The, okay. This notice. Yeah. This one I didn't do. Okay. Cool. Okay. This one's still good. <laughs> oh, never mind. That one's not. That's not the one. Where is it? Where's my iPhone at? Let's see. Since I can't even turn the dang camera around, this is crazy, bro. Android sucks, bro. Wait, so normally you could flip the camera on iOS? Yeah, bro, I can flip it. No Mid problem, dude. Midstream, no problem? No problem. Jesus, bro. Now I know why I like iPhone. Hey, I want to give a big special shout-out to Hadeka. Hadeka was true to his word. Yeah. When Hadeka was kind of like not in a great financial position, right? And then at that time, you know, like he was like, oh, Sneed, you know, I'm going to support you, man. As soon as I, you know, get myself situated, my new job, you know, I'll become a patron. And he was true to his word, man. As soon as he got his, his situation right. Yeah. Immediately became a patron. So big nice. salute, Hideka. Thank you, man. Appreciate you and welcome to the community. Oh, Hideka just did. Yep. He's a patron now. Nice. That AT&T commission. Oh, and, and guys, go ahead and subscribe to Hadeka's channel. Hadeka, if you want to tell them what you do on your channel, go ahead, man. Go ahead and shine. It's your live chat right now. Go ahead. Uh-oh, Giovanni says Apple sucks. Get him, Pete. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Ricky, bro? Ricky, sick him. Sick him. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they don't want to be sick by Ricky, man. Not yet. Ricky's been pretty aggressive lately, bro. Pretty too aggressive. Yo, I think I got that future funk on lock, bruh. See, that's, that's what it's pulling on Verizon right here. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, bro. When this, t when this area right here used to pull only like 15... You got lucky if you pulled oh. 15 and, and three on up. So that means they added higher capacity connections there. That's good. Yeah. The pings used to be horrible, too. Everything used to be horrible in that tower. Hey, buddy. Hometown Custom PC. Long time no see, man. Oh, yeah. How are you? Good to have you on, man. Let's see here. AT Let's be real. Verizon will have at least three years without nationwide 5G, depending on DSS as a band aid for low band 5G. To me, they try to come off not worried, but they are. Bro, let's let's th okay. So you're right, Isaac. I totally agree. Verizon does put on a front about that, but let's be real. Yep. Who's got better LTE than Verizon? AT and T has the most diverse spectrum portfolio, and their network still isn't as good as Verizon's. That's true. So Isaac, if you ask me, I think Verizon is two or three years ahead of most carriers. That's why they're not scared. So they're like, we got time. I mean, it's not ideal. They like to be ahead, but I mean, it's not to say they're dead in the water because they won't have mid band for a couple of years. Yeah, that's for sure. Unless they oh, get. And by broke. the way, let's call it like it is a spade a spade. Nobody builds out network faster than Verizon, bro. What T Mobile <sighs> did, what T Mobile did in the last three years with bands with band seventy one, Verizon would have did that in one year. Yeah, Verizon. Oh, yeah. Verizon spent eighteen billion. T Mobile's been spending six billion. I hate to say it, bro. Adam, that's probably about to that's probably about to get taken care of. If it hasn't already started getting worked on, Verizon's doing a lot of upgrades in the CLE. Carlos says they're pretty much done in Vegas. Yeah. They're moving, they're going nationwide. They're blasting the whole nation. 
they're blessing the whole nation. So if you're right now, if you're having uh, speed issues and connectivity issues, give but it look, a- I never really had speed issues. The worst situation I ever saw was like where I used to get 100, I was starting to see 40. Yeah, which is like, not... Like, how is that? That's not the end of the world. Bro, I'm getting one and two megabits per second on T-Mobile at my house because of band 12. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Maverick says Verizon crown, so they're king. Um, oh, my gosh, bro. Uh, I got to try to find this thing. Where is it? Man. Yo, Joshua, I'm surprised for somebody to say Verizon coverage sucks. <laughs> I I really don't hear that. I really don't. I don't know, man. A lot of people have mixed feelings about it. Need that's a problem. It's mixed feelings about Verizon. But at the end of the day, bro, you know what to do. We know how they perform. Hey, Carlos, Two Phone General wants to know how many phones you have. Well, well, a lot, but we had to decommission some stash. <laughs> I just, I just, I'm setting up another one right now, real quick. This allows T-Mobile to build out the same type of network on 5G, while Verizon will eventually have to repurpose that LTE to 5G towards the end of the decade. While T-Mobile will not be in that. Yeah, because of their mid-band, 2.5 will be all dedicated to 5G. Uh, but, but you know, AT&T, you know, they're doing this. It's They're all going to be doing the same thing. They just got different spectrum holdings. They're all going to be essentially doing the same thing. They exactly. are all going to be using MIMO technology. They're all going to be using mid-band. They're all going to be using millimeter wave. It's just who's going to do it faster? Who's going to do it more efficiently? I put my money on AT&T and Verizon for the next few years. When I see T-Mobile spending 18, 20 billion, we'll talk. Bro, if they spend 10, 10 billion next year, it's not enough. They got to start putting in the 15, the 20, bro. True. That is true. T-Mobile would not allow me to get to pick up the phone that I wanted so I moved to AT&T. Oh, for a device. Wow. Yeah, their their device, something's been I don't know, bro, like, it, the credit is the credit limits. They're funky, dude. They're financing, you know? It's still kind of know, funky. Eight, 18, 20 billion is enough. Annually, that's good. Bro, there's only two carriers that do that and they're winning. Right? Yep. They're winner, winner, chicken dinner, bro. <laughs> Dude, what the? Oh, there we go. This one's working. Try to Finally. Load. Yeah. I need to get up. Yeah. Horizon yeah, is throttle right. city. Not here. Not where I go. I don't see him getting throttled. Carlos, you switching over? Yes, sir. Joseph is looking for an HTC phone. Interesting. Carlos, you got any HTC phones? No. <laughs> the last time HTC, that was a minute ago. Bro. <laughs> this sounds better. What are you using? iPhone. Yeah, maybe it's the headphones. Bro, and look, like I told you, iPhone. Oh, the little swap? Yes, and it works. Nice, dude. Man. Yeah, I'm just using the wired right now, the wired headset. But yeah, man, the only the only way to get this, this ball rolling, bro, is going to be that. It's going to be DS, it's DSS, and you're going to have CBRS. To be band aids for while people wait for mid band, and then roll out mid band. That's the only way. Something tells me 
whoever is experiencing throttling on Verizon probably has their lower level plan. Yup. Nine times out of ten, that's I don't, what it is. I don't really get throttled, bro. And I have the 2017 new Verizon Unlimited. Dang. So I don't really get throttled. Exactly, bro. bro. I wasn't even getting throttled on visible. I had visible all summer. And you would expect that from visible before before Damien, actual over. Damien out of Australia, it is good to have you, sir. Anyone know how does Dish Spectrum Holdings compare to the other three? Uh, it's very similar to what T-Mobile and Verizon has. It's a little bit less, but they have very similar mid-band holdings. Yes. They do have some low band as well. Uh, they have some 600 megahertz. And uh, now they're going to have some 850 as well. Yep, band 26. Which ain't What's that up, Cesar? Yeah, I agree, Gene. I don't have problems with visible at all. Hey, what's up, Tim? Man, long time no see, man. I had no issues with visible. I loved it, except for phone support. Yeah, it's a problem. But from what I understand, as long as you activate it with a visible compatible device, you can move it over to any device. So, yep. You know what's crazy, Carlos? Everybody coming out of the woodworks now talking about Verizon doesn't have good coverage. Bruh, every time I used to travel with my friends, everybody always wanted a hotspot for me. I've always had Verizon. Yep. So I don't know where they are, but everywhere I've traveled to, every major market, every interstate that I've gone to, everybody's Sprint, T-Mobile, even AT&T customers begging me for hotspot, bro. Yep, it's true, bro. I've had the same issues. There's, I can only blindly recommend one carrier. I don't care where you live. I don't care where you travel. There's only one carrier that you could just recommend without even any hesitation, bro. And it's Verizon. And like 99 times out of 100, it's going to work for everybody. AT&T is getting there. T-Mobile's getting there. But 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 they're still not. They they don't have the coverage. And I get it. Verizon lies about their coverage, but they still have the largest network, and it's not really questionable. Well, I've never heard that, Bob. I didn't know Verizon didn't have coverage in Hawaii. Yeah, I think Verizon has coverage in Hawaii. I, I never there, heard. I I lived there before. I I yeah, I yeah I never heard that before. And why not? Everywhere. Oh, Tim Man just called him a liar. <laughs> Bro, look at these speeds that I got earlier of Verizon on that new tower. What? And this is Verizon. I've bro. never seen Verizon do that. I've seen AT&T kind of flirt with that. I've seen some T-Mobile top over 200, too. See? Verizon. Bro, like 300. Oh, I, I've actually heard that. Joshua, I've heard Sprint's really good in the Northeast, too. Like Rhode Island and stuff. I've heard that. Dude, with the upgrades that they're doing, it's working. You know what's crazy, Carlos? I have like seven lines on Verizon. And my bill is like $240. Do you know how much that, do you know how much that would be at T-Mobile? the same 210 220 yeah i gotta pay, yeah i gotta pay taxes and i gotta pay fees but okay so maybe it's 265 when it's all said and done right yeah i mean it's just you go with the better network if it's just the difference of five dollars a line you know you know what's crazy bro like uh yesterday i added some lines on the t-mobile plan my t-mobile business What's up, Master Bill? For, for seven lines. Hey, John. 140. On which carrier? T-Mobile. Because seven lines, to... 140? Holy cow. Because they got me on the on the magenta military business. So nice, dude. I guess they give it to you half off, bro. So it's 140 for seven lines. Like that's freaking wild. Can't beat that with a stick. Yeah. If I mean as a backup. 
communication, then cool, bro. Like, it's not bad. Sure. But as my main driver, you know, my main driver will always be what it is. <laughs> it's always going to be the newest iPhone on Verizon. Yep. <laughs> hey, Reliable. Sprint good in Honolulu, Carlos? Mm, yeah, it does good. Yeah. The homie seat over. What up, bruh? I can honestly say it really does do good over there because uh, they have uh, um, a lot of people over there have Sprint. Sprint was the second option always. It was first Verizon and then Sprint second. You'd be paying less if you did eight lines on that, Carlos. Who said that? Pete. Oh. If, if you So if you just add an extra line, it'll bring your bill down. But right now, right now they're, I don't know. I think like, that's because I think that's what Pete has. Pete oh. added a, Pete added a line, got the line for free, and it made his bill cheaper. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Because Pete's on the same plan I am. Yeah. That's right. Oh super chat. Oh man, almost pulled the Steel. trigger on the S twenty Ultra. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Bro, hey, see over the last I checked, you had the ROG too. You had the ROG. Dude, he was killing it. He had that the the what is it called? That desktop kind of the 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 dash yeah. or whatever. The uh dude, yeah, it was Pete, sweet, bro. Dude, dude, Pete and I saw that at the how do you call it at at CES. We saw dude. like they were using some uh some R the ROG, some razors. Yeah, Siova had it all set up on his desktop and everything. It was pretty sweet, bro. Siova's got a nice little setup, man. But uh, Siova, where the video's been, bro? Need you making content, man. Thanks for the super <laughs> chat, bro. I love his live streams, bro. It's fantastic. ROG is still boss with all the accessories. Bro, I'm telling you, it's its features are loaded, bro. Mm -hmm. Siova, thanks for the super chat, bro. I, I believe Siova's a T-Mobile guy, too. Loves him some T-Mobile. Thanks, bro. Buffering on 144p. <laughs> oh, God. God, what? Oh. Oh, man. Could it get any worse? Bro, Buffer. You, you're, uh, <laughs> you know what's funny, bro? Everybody's now saying the everybody's saying my word, Garbini. Everybody <laughs> says your word, bro. Everybody's saying my word, Garbini. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> What just happened? Oh, John Shaft 64 with the massive super chat. Thanks, bro. Big time. Huge donation. Waiting for my SIM card for my Note 10 Plus and OnePlus 5G. Thanks for the great work and info. You are very welcome for the great info and the great work. Uh, if it is great, I appreciate the compliment. Thank you. Uh, as for the SIM card and your Note, What's your provider, John Shaft? Who who are you going with? Who'd you go with with your Note 10 Plus? <clears throat> Anybody out there that actually is looking for a Note 10 Plus? I got one for sale. Holla at your boy. Thank you again for that super chat, John Shaft. Siova with another super chat, bro. Before you know it, I think Siova's gonna exceed twenty dollars. He's just been dropping super chats. Uh, been chilling. Gonna get at it back soon. All right. Well, we'll be. Thrilled to to get to those videos. We pulled the Love trigger. Your pulled the trigger on S twenty Ultra. <laughs> of course, pulled it. Good deal, bro. Seven hundred dollar trading on the Note ten plus. Oh, John, why, bro? Like what? So I I can't use it. It's, I'm not good enough. John Shaft. <laughs> so, so check it out. So John Shaft basically just hopped on Sprint to get the deal and to get the phone, and he's out. Like uh, he's gonna be like a T-Mobile customer. What about yeah. people that? What about people that get on a Kickstart plan? Like go to Best Buy, get the twenty-five dollar Kickstart. Dude, that's a good deal. I was um, was the Lawrence that one that I that iPhone that I did the giveaway on. Yeah. Uh, I told like uh, he he wanted he was like gonna try out sprint but the kickstarter plan is 30 files like no nah, bro go to best buy it's 25 dollars just can't beat it bro yeah why not give him a shot robert says when will everything be up and running for the new t-mobile 
Uh, I mean, it's always going to be up and running. I think the issue is how seamless is the integration process, you know? Uh, that's going to be the hard part, I think. Um, any updates on the 5G speed increases with the new update, Carlos? Bro, okay. Remember we were talking about this need earlier? Like, look. Guys, Listen, this is let me tell you guys something before we even do this, all right? A software update to a phone does not add spectrum to a network. <laughs> this is get that out of the way. This is what it's doing, guys. All right. So basically, this is and Brother. I've already done I've already done research and it's confirmed. All right. So what it's doing is okay, like here in Vegas, we've got 15 megahertz of band 71. 10 total. is being taken for total. NR. 15 total. Yeah, that's active. They're supposed they have 40 light megahertz worth of licenses, but they only have 15 live. So 10 is being taken for NR and then five left for LTE. So what they did with that software update is it uses that five that's left for LTE and slams it into the NR. And then it steals some bandwidth from 66, five megahertz. And then from band two, five megahertz to boost the speeds. So all it's doing is just reconfigurating the way it connects to the tower. That's it to gain Word. a little bit more speed. But, but it's the not speed even is not from it's not from seventy one. The speed's from, coming from the other bands. It's coming from sixty six and two, and then LTE seventy one a little bit, and that's it. It's not, bro. Fifteen megahertz is 40, 50, 60 megahertz will get you speed. You know what and, I'm saying? Why well, see? Um, look, I've I've already asked. T-Mobile employees and a couple of engineers. There's actually 40 megahertz worth of licenses out in Vegas. They just haven't deployed are, it all yet. Why not? I don't know. He just, they could have. Never Carlos, me. they could have put 30 for LTE and 10 to NR, and they'd be killing it. Yeah. I'm telling you, they don't want to pay, bro. I'm telling you, they, they are not spending. Bottom line. Can you hear us, mean, bro? Yeah, it's having fun. Her cousins are in town. They're visiting from Pittsburgh. Oh, so, nice. Yeah, so, the, uh, man, I hear little footsteps. Tick, 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 all over the upstairs. Yeah, bro, like, if they if they want to make a dent, how they put out that announcement that they oh, want Isaac, to I don't, one. I don't think me and Carlos are advocating for them to use all 40 NNR. We're advocating for them to use about 30 for LTE and 10 for NR. There's only so many NR phones out there. So it's not ten worth it. Yeah, 10 megahertz, fine. But what about the LTE? All devices can connect to the LTE. And then when it's time, DSS, right? Exactly. Man, Cash Games is letting it rip on T-Mobile, man. He's giving it to him. Bro, like uh, what what YC is saying? He's saying uh, thirty megahertz, fifteen for down, fifteen for up. You you want to know what's on LTE band seventy one here in Vegas? It's two point five for up, two point five for down on LTE only. And on the, and the whole ten megahertz that's available for NR is only on the download. It's not on upload. If you look at service mode, it will show on there on the, it's BW for download only. It's not for upload. Robert. Robert says, who hurt you, Cash Games? <laughs> uh, when they say they have 40, that means they have 20 by 20. Okay, so if you're going, what, 20 per channel, right? Well, that's what, it, that's, that's what it's supposed to be, right? Or is he talking 20 download, 20 upload? Cause that makes a difference, bro. Does upload need all that? I mean, if you were getting 40 megabits per second on upload, I mean, that's plenty. 30 is good. 20 is serviceable, you know, 10 is kind of skimpy. So you probably want to get over that threshold. Yeah. So I don't know, man, if it's 20 by 20, that's, but 20 is good, but how are you going to give, 10 to NR and only five to LT in, in Vegas. That's horrible. Horrible. Exactly. That means, that, but Carlos, that means you said 10 to NR. Yeah. 
but they're but they're only doing 5G they're only doing upload on LTE, right? Yeah, up the whole the upload works on the LTE side only. Bro, I hate non standalone 5G. I really do, bro. I hate <laughs> I hate non standalone 5G. And that's what pe- and how how people are comparing it on the chat right now. They don't understand that on on stand on non standalone the, the bandwidth that's set for the NR band is for download only. To Oral's Verizon, like example, Oral's Verizon's millimeter wave would have the one like how it goes 1.2 to 2 gigabit speed. It would have almost equivalent uploads. Carlos, you want to take this question here? Um, let's see here. I'm sorry, it's just let's see. What happened to Sprint customers that have that won't work on the T Mobile there? Um so it's pretty tough. Well, if um, it doesn't have if it doesn't have band compatibility, they're gonna have to get a new phone. They have they have to. They probably might give them like a good device credit towards it. They might say, yeah. hey, you know what? We'll give you let's let's say we'll give you fifty percent off another, a new phone or something. They they're gonna have to do something. But for phones that are compatible, I say from seventeen, two thousand seventeen and on, if you have a device from that year and on Sprint. I think maybe because uh, you know how the smart sim is coming around a lot more, they're gonna have to release a smart sim for this network, bro. Well, the newer the newer phones aren't gonna be the issue. The phones that are like four, maybe five years old, they'll be the yeah. problem because any phone that's like 2018 or newer, you're probably golden. You probably have 41 if you're a T-Mobile customer. You probably have 71 if you're a may. I don't know. I mean. Look, it's been two years since the merger was planned. Sprint has to have been thinking, let's make sure we're selling phones that have been 71, right? No. Yeah. And that's and that's the thing. Like what they're gonna if they have they're gonna have to implement some sort of smart sim, bro. Like so when they are decommissioning some towers to re, you know, relocate and refarm or whatever they're gonna do with it. So at least they have the compat- let's say they take down a T-Mobile tower in that person's area to redo stuff. Then at least they can connect to a Sprint tower, you know, ver- or vice versa. Right. That they're gonna have to do some sort of smart sim implementation. If not, then- all, all they have to do is do whatever Google Fi is doing. Yep, they have to. If not, that's then- all they gotta do. If not, they're gonna lose customer. Like they're gonna run like like flies, bro. They'll be flying away quicker than you can think. Quicker. I than think. You can I think some customers are going to leave the new T-Mobile, man, during all this. Some might. And I think some Dish customers are going to leave Boost. For now, you know. Yeah, I think I think there's going to be some churn, bro, over the next couple of years. Because you got to think about this, too, man. These people that use the phone for business cannot have their phones down, man. Like, you can't be hoping like oh oh crap my my network is getting is getting worked on so it's going to be better here in about six months but for six months i might have to suffer bro what if you missed that one call and you missed your hundred thousand dollar deal in your business it ain't happening you know business customers are going to be the first ones to turn uh 2015 and on for sprint phones to work on t-mobile some like the s8 don't have band 71 band 71 is going to be critical for some people like for me it doesn't matter there's no band 71 out here hardly. Oh, how many weeks you got left till it kicks in, bro? Oh, uh, I, I think next week I'll get it for about four hours. So I'm right. looking forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> uh actually, James, Google Fi is very different than dual sim. It is one hundred percent different from dual sim. Google Fi has a single sim and it does network switching based on connectivity like signal and speed and performance and connection. Dual SIM is not that. Dual SIM operates two SIMs simultaneously. That is not what Google Fi does. Google Fi connects you to a single network at any given moment. When one network is fading and the other one is better, it switches to that one. So it's it's actually very different. Yeah, smart SIM, basically. Smart, it's You'll like have, a smart SIM. 100%. Hitman with the super chat. Thanks, Brada. Question, how is AT&T deploying low band 5G? Is good amount of spectrum, or is it like it's? Here's what's different about AT and T's low band five G. 
it's configured better and AT&T doesn't have to take away from any of its other holdings. So it's so it's a more reliable connection. Your battery life's not going to suck. Your phone's not going to heat up. It's configured better and it's not taking from Peter to pay Paul. So therefore your LT experience is going to stay really good. You're just going to be supplemented with a little band 5 NR. It's not going to change your network experience. You're not going to say, wow, I got 5G. It's not going to be like that. There's still, bro, is it 5 or 10 megahertz in download speed nationwide? Not even nationwide. It's regional. Yeah, it's regional right now. So, but, they're, uh, but they're deploying it pretty heavily. Truth be told, no 5G is more available than T-Mobile's, but it's just not really good. You know, nobody's saying... My network experience has changed completely because of band 71 NR, you know? The only the only 5G that's good, bro, the only one that's that's good is Sprint. Facts, bro. And when T-Mobile facts. merged Metro, they gave those people free phones equal to their old phones, added all types of incentives to move people over. They actually moved customers ahead of time. Facts. Yeah. They, they did, did a really good way. job with that. Neville said they'd be using RAN sharing and that eliminate the need for a different SIM. I did hear that. Uh, somebody asked him that, I think, at um, one of the earnings reports. So I do remember that. Damien says, I think lots of churn coming for Boost. Metro might go after Boost customers. I think 100% Metro is going to capitalize. Don't be surprised if Metro goes from like 21 million subs to like 22 or 23 million subs six months into the merger <laughs> but the or, thing is is the thing is their network experience is going to be similar mm -hmm. it's just it's just maybe they won't have like the the fallouts the bottoming out during all the transitioning you know and if dish overcharges or or does whatever people are going to leave you know and what a, bro this might be honestly this makes me think when people do end up turning while the network is improving, you know, because they don't want to stay while it's hiccuping. Will that will they will people a lot of people choose visible or cricket or something as a option on the I prepaid think, side? I think we'll see some movement, Los. I really do. I think we'll see some movement. Maverick says band seventy one, meh, forty one twenty five work great. Yeah, he's a sprint dude. Likes to sprint. Sprint. Google Fi is basically a triple SIM. I don't know how often people will connect to consumers or U.S. cellular. Well, you like, got to be in the area. Like, you got to yeah. be in Oregon or uh, southern part of Washington State or in your area, in your neck of the woods in the Midwest. Yeah, there ain't none. there's nothing here. Nebraska. Them. I hear, like, Illinois. Yeah, Illinois, Nebraska. Band uh, 71 is Oklahoma. everything here in North Carolina. It's the only coverage gaps here on T-Mobile. There's no band 71 out here. And that's because we have a lot of band 66 out here. So they don't use band 71. Not, not much in the major, you know, CLA, CLE uh, metropolitan area. Thanks, Cesar. I appreciate you. Like and subscribe. Dang. The 800 megahertz dish is getting from Sprint will be a joke. Yeah, it's not much. Yeah. It'll help. I mean, they have their own low band. They have 600 megahertz. I think yeah. they have some 700, too. They have some. It's just a good supplement. It doesn't make sense to not take it. I mean, what's what's T-Mobile going to do with it? They still have to roll out band 71. Like, what do they care about it? Yeah. <laughs> what's up, babes? It's the wifey. It's tripping. SMT need to check your connections. You keep coming in and out and flickering. Is that happening, Los? Mm -mm. All right. Well, that's uh, that's you, Cesar. You got T-Mobile, bro. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. <clears throat> I didn't. I know you're gonna hit that one, man. Hey, man. The next, the next, we're gonna call mid band five G goat five G, bro. You're gonna be doing goat noises, bro. Nah, bro. <laughs> I got something better for you. Hold on. Uh, no. Don't no. Don't I don't bro, not on my channel. Not on my channel. 
Carlos, right. no. I, I gotta hit it once, bro. Carlos, no. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just get skunked, bro? That one's a, that's a raccoon, bro. You know what the raccoon was saying? <laughs> uh, Ricky taught me to be a little so raccoon iconic. whisper. The raccoon said, "I'm trying to watch my Netflix, but it's buffering. Why do they give it to me for free if it buffers?" Here's a little news from Hometown Custom PC. Look into buying the Google Wi-Fi box. Is that the mesh systems? Google Wi-Fi box. It must oh, be talking I've, about like mesh about systems, right? I've, I've I've heard about it, but I haven't researched. Oh, bro, it. they're gonna start getting on Maverick, bro. They're gonna start picking on him. Oh. Here we go. Oh man, I was big for USCC. I, I don't know much about Iowa's connections. I know I Wireless was big for T-Mobile. Hey, bro, you know what I was doing? I was researching some stuff. Guess who's still around? Yeah, there's some band seventy one out here. There's a little bit. It's mostly outside of Cleveland, actually. Not main main in Cleveland. Go ahead, Carlos. Guess what provider's still around, bro? Who? Cellular one. What? <laughs> yeah. What I are they? <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Man, I haven't heard that name in a minute. Cellular one, bro. I remember my uncle used to have them back in the day. Yeah, man. Sprint customers that will shop around to other carriers, T-Mobile customers won't really feel the effects of the merger. Of course they will, Isaac. As soon as all those customers start getting transitioned, there's going to be a lot more traffic on the network. I think there's going to be some moments where T-Mobile customers are pissed. I think we would be naive to not think there would be some hiccups. You know, there's going to be couple weeks here and there where the performance is down a little bit. We'll see. We'll just have to see. We'll see. Time will tell. Yep. What's up, homie Ron? What's happening, bruh? Sebi's in the house. What is... I don't think this is going bankrupt. They say they've secured loans. Yeah. I don't know. Take it as you will. Hey, Hitman, Carlos did. He pre-ordered one. I'm going to pre-order one, but I'm getting the regular S20, bro. I'm not going to get the Ultra. Bro, that camera, I tested it yesterday. Oh, my God, that camera is good. Bro, I had it zoomed at 100, and I could still read the I could still read the lettering. Clear. Like, it was that good. Oh, yeah, yeah. U.S. Cellular is the biggest market. Uh, they got Iowa on lockdown, huh, Carlos? U.S. Cellular? Yeah. Bro, I don't I'll be honest, bro. I don't really remember US Cellular ever really doing much out in Ohio. I I don't remember them ever really having a presence outside of maybe like the late 2000s like 0809, you would have found them like in a couple of stores, but like you know, not much, bro. Bro, you you know Oh, snap. DJ Luna Star, long time no see. Oh, shit. What's going on? Oh, I haven't seen her in a minute. It's good to have you on. Thanks for stopping by. I, I want to say maybe it was still warm out the last time you popped into a live chat. It might have been the summer. <laughs> Seriously, man. Like maybe August. It's good to have you on. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I roam on U.S. Cellular in one town while on T-Mobile, even though it's only in one part of that town. It's weird. Yeah, I wonder what it is. Oh, those two phones do not compare, DJ Lunastar. No way. <laughs> <laughs> totally different class, right? Yeah, well, I'm, bro. I'm glad. I'm glad you're doing better. Very happy for you. Hope all is well. Getting in better shape. Sweet. We doing a little keto. Doing some exercise. Pumping them weights, bro. Oh, Carlos, today in the weight room, bro. Remember how yeah. I was sick for the last couple weeks? Yup. Didn't skip a beat, bro. Went right back to the bench press. Two forty-five for reps, bro. On the flat nice. bench barbell. Hit it. I usually do like 265, but I'll take the 245, bro. I was repping it That's up. good. Yeah. Trying to get the, you know, getting the chest and the arms, bro. Getting the big back, you know. Got to. I'm going I'm to go get me a tractor tire, bro, and flip that thing up and down the street, bro. Piss off the neighbors. <laughs> Just flip <laughs> that thing up and down the street, bro. 
<laughs> yeah, I tried that. Didn't work. None of that. I tried all that stuff. It doesn't work for me. I can't do it. Do you? This is what a lot of people. <laughs> of scoop. That, what's happening, bruh? What a lot of people don't know is that you roam on uh, USA Comnet a lot on the West, like in the West and the part of the Midwest. A lot of people don't know that about with T-Mobile. The bull, they got it for Verizon too. Well, maybe Sprint because I've never seen Verizon roam off USA Comnet. AT and T does. AT and T does. Yeah, they got CDMA, GSM, uh. UMTS, and then they do got LTE too. Oh, they do. They got a lot of Nevada. Holy crap! Yeah, Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado. I think this is up here is towards Pete. Well, in that area. <laughs> Look at Scoop, bro. Young, black, and handsome. Okay, just black and handsome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, newer devices have just about all the bands for every carrier. Pretty much. Yeah. Holy crap. Uploads 87? Come on, DJ Lunastar. Come on. You sure it's not downloads? <laughs> on what network, though? I'm pretty sure she's on Boost. Boost? Yeah. For real? I'd be surprised if that was boost download, let alone upload. I think you got it the other way around. 47.8 megabits per second download. I think it's... I think you got them twisted. Either way, that's still pretty good. Oh, she's on Metro. Oh, Metro? Oh, okay. That means she switched. I could have okay. sworn she, back in the day she told me she was on boost. I was gonna say boost, man. Whoa! I didn't know boost could do that, bro. <laughs> uh, Although Tito, a... Tito told me Sprint's really good out in Phoenix. He gets really yeah. good coverage out there. It is. So he would use boost for yeah. years. That's congestion, bro. That is congestion, Scoop. When your download is one third of your upload, that is congestion, my dude. Bro, a lot. That's how it is out here too, bro. Sometimes you'll get, you'll get like really decent uploads, and then you'll have like horrible downloads with horrible pings. Well, the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G work on Verizon low band 5G. Verizon doesn't have low band 5G. Um, I I don't know, bro. I, I oh, don't know. bro, Detroit has mid band from spin. Uh, has two point five. Uh gigahertz for 5g and in, in detroit yeah is that true hold on let's see what state and carlos was just speed testing 0. 0.02 down 47 upload that is <laughs> you can upload a video fast but you can't watch a video Man, I didn't even realize that. I did not realize that. You know what, Pete? Now that you mention it, you did tell me that Detroit was getting 5G. Didn't you say St. Louis was next? Yeah. Yeah. They deployed it, bro. I Super was... hot fire off garbage. <laughs> Dude, that was one of the cities that I, that I didn't know about. I guess that was one of them. You know, Hometown Custom PC, I'm not familiar about that box. I don't use the TV boxes, man. My wife likes Hulu and... YouTube TV and Hulu Live and all that stuff. I and I don't care enough about TV to even care. <laughs> if I'm not making, if I'm not working, you know, if I'm not teaching, I'm working at the bakery or I'm here doing live streams or I'm producing content, and making videos or doing research or something, you know. I might have to post this iPhone on Twitter. Twitter, Twitter. Oh, I got it. Does the device thing. influence download? Of course. Of course. A uh, phone that has, you know, seven carrier aggregation, way more potential to, to get that throughput, to get faster download speeds. Same thing with upload, too. Yeah, Bruce, good point. Not being a creator, upload speeds, uh, not that important. That's true. I guess... 
unless you upload videos to like Snapchat and TikToks and all that, right? Yeah, yeah then that matters. Coldwater, Michigan, and Ann Arbor, Michigan has T Mobile 5G. Yeah, so that's 600 megahertz. Mm -hmm. Benny D, I work at my dad's bakery every Saturday and whatever days off of work I have. So, how good do you think Verizon Dynamic Spectrum sharing will work? It'll work fine. Uh, it may have some a hard time getting traction early on, but it'll eventually be good. Verizon's always good. If you have a Snapdragon 821, your phone's got to be four years old, right? Because it was 821, and then it was the 35, the 45, the 55. So four years, you know, it's going to be the 865 this year. In a couple weeks, if that. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do some bacon at the bakery. Anyone want a space gray 256 gig 11 pro? Let Scoop know. He's on Twitter. I do YouTube. DJ Lunastar, shout out your channel if you like. I'm a social media model. Yeah, go ahead. Shout out your channel. Shout out all your Instagram, whatever you do. Go ahead. You know, use the SMT platform to, to better yourself. You know, go ahead. No problem. Original Pixel was, yeah. And I think it was uh, the LG G6. Yeah, the, the A20 is a pretty good phone. I mean, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a decent phone these days. You know, the mid-range and the entry level has really closed the gap in performance. They're not as good as the flagships, but, you know, they, they do perform well. Usually it's the camera performance. What did you say, Carlos, between the flagships and the mid-ranges? What about it? The camera performance is what really differs between low-end yeah. and mid-rangers and flagships. Basically, yeah. All right, big shout-out to DJ Lunastar420. That's her YouTube channel. Check it out. The Bionic Soup. Look up the Scoop Man. She got her phone for 10 bucks. You can't beat that with a stick, bro. <laughs> Heck no. 10 bucks, bro. You, you're basically, what, paying taxes, right? Yeah, that's it, really. Damn, Detroit, Detroit is blessed with uh, 5G. With oh, 5G. I, don't, I don't see the super chat, Carlos. What is it? It's uh the fist bump, fist bump from JK Video Stream. Hey, good looking out, JK Video Stream. Appreciate the super chat. Thanks for the fist bump. Right back at you, bro. Wham. Yeah, they always give they always give good deals for ports, bro, on those prepaid carriers. They always do. If you have the Samsung S10 5G, is it worth upgrading to the 720? I don't know. I don't know. Are you Bro. are you liking your S10 5G? I guess it depends. This is all five. This is all uh, 5G Sprint in Detroit. So what do they got? Like a whole segment of the city? Well, no. I, I'm. I just zoomed in really close just to see the difference in the color. You know. But let's see here. Yo, Los DJ Luna Stars, dogging your flip, bro. What about the flip? She said it's bad, bro. It's all right, but 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 you see those need non LTE, the red, right right there in the down downtown area. What does red mean? <laughs> non LTE, three G coverage. I'm, I wonder why. <laughs> what the heck? Why that spot? Like, and then right here, there's more spots. Boom, boom. <laughs> and then they got clear spots, no coverage. Holy, holy moly, man! In the middle of a city, that's kind of embarrassing, bro. And Detroit's a big city, bro. That's the thing about it. That's that's where they build the cars. <laughs> Come on, man! All right. Well, my goal was to be on here for an hour. We're an hour and a half in. I do have to get some rest, and I got work in the morning. So, uh, let me just go ahead and kind of wrap things up here and. We'll just kind of say our final pieces. Uh, let me go ahead and give some special shout outs. Uh, let's shout out some of the newest patrons. We have Santiago, who just joined on the SMT Patreon page. Uh, Levin, Gene, Joseph, Eric, Alvin, James, Romy, Hadeka, Gregory, Lee County Scratcher, and Kais. It's good to have you guys. Welcome to the community. 
I also want to shout out the YouTube, the second YouTube channel, Steam Mobile Tech live streams, where all of the podcasts get archived. They go over there. So, uh, you know, do check that out if you want to watch these on replay. We also have the SMT Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. And, uh, you know, we do have the SMT Wireless Report audio only podcast. We're on all your favorite uh, audio podcast apps, including Spotify, Breaker, Google Podcasts, Anchor, you know, all those goodies. So check us out there and megadon.net. Never need another social media platform again. No algorithms, no ads, no tracking. Megadon.net. And also, big shout out to Carlos, the homie, for coming through and hanging out. Check out his YouTube channel. He's also on Twitter. So, you know, do peep those uh, other extensions of the community. Big shout out, shout out to Ricky Florida Keys. Big shout out to Tito at Aloha Android. Big shout out to JG Tech Blog, as well as Altered Tech. Uh, Tech. Also, Tech702, Mike, uh, and also Technoid. So, yeah, it was awesome. Good, very good live stream. Carlos, thanks for coming by. Thank you to all of the moderators in the live. Rafi, Pete. Uh, I'm not sure who else is moderating there. Uh, maybe there are a couple more. But uh, thank you guys for all your super chats, all your donations, all the PayPal stuff. You know, Michael, uh, Martin, Gary, Rafi. James, Alvin, Matt, Dub, appreciate you guys supporting and and donating for the cause. So much appreciated. Yeah, no, no problem, Melissa. Just watch us on the replay. Uh, the, these do kind of get archived, and you could replay them off DVR, and and uh, you know, and and it's just as good. Not live, but replay is just as good. Anyways, um, thanks, Sebi. Appreciate you. If you guys are new, consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you know whenever we do go live and uh never miss an upload from all the regular videos and keep it tuned we got a lot coming in uh from the wireless carriers obviously dish you're gonna be shaking and moving the new t-mobile a lot of shaking and moving and we'll keep you guys tuned uh tuned into the know and make sure you guys know what's happening so that's pretty much it i gotta go get some rest tech for your needs big shout out to you sir sorry you're coming in late watch us on the replay uh that's pretty much it carlos Appreciate you coming on, bro. Thank you so much. Yeah, bro. Scoop everybody in the live chat. Thank you for those who participated in the convo. And uh, it was definitely a pleasure having you guys in. Zena, thanks for the super chat. Appreciate you so much. Thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> we. I think we're all tired now. We're getting tired. Thanks, man. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for the compliments. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys around. Uh, big shout out to the SMT Nation. Big shout out to Carlos Nation. Big shout out to all the wireless carrier, I guess, spec heads out there. We love you guys, SMT Nation. And that's pretty much it. So uh, good night, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Peace.